at least the bulk of it, but still, I mean, for a Tuesday night, it's awesome. Driven into right center field. Will Height with the slide and the catch. Went for home runs. As he deals the 2-2 to Shunk and sticks a strike on the outside corner. So we've gotten a couple of blowouts. Hopefully we'll get a good one today. Grounded hard, deep in the hole, knocked down by Shepard. He gathers but cannot grip. And Waddell legs it off for a leadoff single. As the 3-1 to Goldberg he is inside, ball four. Throw down to second, won't matter, and Georgia Tech has him at first and second with nobody out. 2-2 on the way. Strike three on the inside corner. Reaches out, rolls one, and hugs inside the line. Backhanded by Sullivan. Taps on first, but English puts it in play to score Waddell, and Georgia Tech takes the 1-0 lead. Colin Hall here. And he does. Two strikeouts, but a pair of walks. And not only looking good to reach the regionals, but potentially host, as that's ball four outside, a leadoff walk by Talley. And that ball is belted. Deep to right, Radcliffe will watch it sail into the seats for a home run. And Georgia takes the 2-1 lead. That is just raw power from John Cable. Didn't look like he even swung that hard. Rodig has walked one this inning, and that ball is belted. Deep to right field, Radcliffe at the track, leaps up in front of the wall and pulls it back in. Rolled out to short, Waddell guns it across, and that does it for the Bulldogs in the second, or because the schedule just doesn't permit it, as that ball's banged into left for a leadoff base hit. Two straight innings now, the Jackets have a leadoff man aboard. Will Hyde off and running on the 3-1 pitch, but it is high, and a second straight inning, Elliott has allowed a single followed by a walk. Again, two on, nobody out. 2-1 to Will Hyde is whacked down the line, fair. It tucks into the corner. Luke Waddell continues to hit away against the Bulldogs. A two-RBI double, and Georgia Tech, just like that, has regained the lead at 3-2. In the second inning. Low and outside, ball four. And with that first at bat. Swung on and driven deep into right field. Kyle McCann into the chop house for a three-run homer. He came loaded up. A 15th homer of the year for the Jackets junior. And he puts them ahead 6-2. to two. Instead of going with the off-speed pitch, it looked like Elliott went with the fastball again. World Series in 2012. Ripped into the gap, coming on his haul. He'll have to play it on a hop. As Rodgers delivers a leadoff single. <laughs> in the air right field, Radcliffe turning his hips and a leaping grab. Had to twist around on the warning track. And Webb lays down a bunt ever so soft. It's barehanded by Glover, but it has no throw. Fly ball into right, deep. Rogers looks up. It's off the top of the wall. Ricochets hard off the brick. Another extra base hit for Waddell as he coasts into third with an RBI triple. We're in the third, and Waddell is a home run shy of the cycle. He's got a third RBI, and Tech has the 7-2 lead. Low and in, and Goldberg walks for a third straight time. Times an 8 1, so that 8 came in a win. Rounded out weekly to second. Tally is up with it, and the Jackets go down in the third. Walked one, struck out two, as that ball is belted deep left center. Shunk up and over. Lead off home run for Aaron Shunk. That's also the sound that ball just made in the bleachers <laughs> when it landed. <laughs> What kind of balls are they using today? I mean, only giving up five hits. Into the shift, knocked down, but unable to be grabbed by Waddell. See how they score that as Tally reaches. There's another 3-2 from Lee. In the dirt again. Couldn't back foot him on the breaking ball. Now first and second for the Bulldogs. 
Into right field. That sits down for a base hit. Tally gets held up at third. Georgia Tech will try to play for a big inning. Throw back down to second, but the tag not in time. And did that hit him? I think they're going to say it was a foul ball. Or that he went and it didn't wow. hit him. I pitch anyway, and Sullivan would have been on first base. Swing and a miss. McCann guns out to first to complete the strikeout one away. Uh, uh, it it looked like a home plate umpire. Well, McCann lost that ball, rolling outside the batter's box and slotting in safe his cable to make it 7-5. In his glove, I, I don't know that he knew for a fact that it was the ball. Right to third, throw home, play at the plate, and out. And the 3-2 from Lee is well outside. Just misses the outside corner. Bulldogs have him loaded again. Grounded to third, charging Webb, throw on the run in time. And Georgia scores three, but strands three. A swing and a miss as Radcliffe runs out of bat on the slider by Goodman. Down to second. Tally, gloves, throws, and it's a 1 2 3 fourth for the Jackets. Lined into left, another base hit. Now those are intimate and fantastic. Hot shot up the middle, past the dive of Wilhite. Shunk, hustling for third, gunned in by Wilhite, it's offline, and now Tally breaks for second. Bulldogs, second and third, and in business in the fifth. And they will intentionally walk him to set up the double play. Mason Meadows stands in, first pitch swing, and drills it deep into center, but there is room out for Wilhite. The competitiveness to foul off pitch and team can get one. Will Hyde checks his swing. Meadows wants an appeal. Did not go. And he issues a second straight free pass. I'll put in. Base is loaded. A stretch in the 3 2. Fly ball right center field. It'll be cut off by Rodgers. He makes the grab, stumbles, and that allows Will Hyde to tag up. He scores easily. Goldberg puts one into play, drives in the run. Georgia Tech leads it 8-5. to five. And here it comes to McCann, and it hits him. Pops one to high in the air, but no carry. Out into the triangle. We'll see who takes charge. It's the center fielder. Maxwell makes the grab. There's Maxwell over 2. Jerks that down the line, hooking towards the foul pole, and it is gone, a home run. Maxwell with a missile. He gets the run back from the Tech fifth, and it's now 8-6. We talked about the fact that Maxwell was a guy that could do it in a number of different ways, led this team, leads this team. Yeah, and I think the consensus tilts more toward this being a homer friendly park than a pitcher friendly park as King Parks is single to right it'll help in the moment ground ball pulled to second Will Hyde is over oh even trailing that they've got the depth of arms to hold margins where they are leave that door ajar for their offense blows one by Hall that when he went up in the zone Swing and a miss. Fished out of the dirt. Pegged across a little high, but on time and on target. Nathan hits a lot per nine innings after just an inning and a third. That ball deep in the hole in a second. On the grass, the spin by Will Heighton the throw. Not in time. Boy, he gave a solid effort on that 360 spin, but Shepard too much speed. Out to second, could be two. The shovel to second. Turn and throw by Waddell. Plenty of time. Got a hit since the third. On that Waddell RBI. Oh, and a leaping grab by Sullivan. Put that on the highlight reel. Wow. Fly ball. That is tattooed into right center. But Rogers watches it die off at the track. The Jackets go down in order. The end of seven. And he blisters this into left center. 
The hits continue to pile up for the Bulldogs. Great stuff here tonight. Down and in. That was the first base runner he's allowed. Moody rifles it home. Grounded to third. And it trickles off of Shunk's glove. Rolls into short left. McCann hustles to third. Into left center. Maxwell was shaded over there. Makes the grab. Out to third. Webb from range. One out. Line shop a right to Goldberg. Everything right and you still end up getting out. Comebacker just over a leaping English. In between hop. Will hide the stretch by Goldberg. And Georgia Tech takes the series. From SunTrust Park tonight, the final score, the Jackets 8, the Bulldogs 6.